this disabled gaming reviews let's play it's best enjoyed in front of a computer monitor and or tablet with the speakers on and to any epileptics out there please watch this in a well-lit environment to reduce the risk of any potential seizures this DJR place party is also unofficially sponsored by boom and mini boom in air so boom and mini boom are a geek boutique where if you're looking for things like dragon ball mugs alien figurines etc etc definitely check them out did I also mention that they're an official Warhammer retailer? So if you're looking for extra fire team squads to add to your Tau army, definitely check them out. They are located opposite Airbus Station. Look out for the Deadpool statue. Links to Boom and Mini Boom's Facebook page is in the video's description below. Now, with all that aside, please enjoy the video. Welcome to part 3 of my Let's Play of my Fate for the PC. So, this is filmed after I've recorded the review of the newest South Park game, South Park Snow Day. The video review can be found in this video's description. So, um, anyway, the last part was, was a pretty exciting one. To be able to get out the old Japanese slung down tenement blocks, only to find out we were in the middle of a mob war between the Russian Mafia and the Lupino family. But we've been able to run into one of our old enemies, Jack Lupino's right hand man, Vinny Gagnite. So the last few minutes of that let's play, of part of that part, was us trying to chase him down. So without further ado, so without further ado, let's kick things off with my train if I can get this. Perfect. More hairs, less speed. So time is ready. So let's get this part underway. Chapter 7, Police Brutality. Hmm. Very appropriate. Okay. Um, go, go, go. For 45 minutes. Let's do this. So, we're now following the trail of the We track Benny Dog Meaty down. Can be dual wielded like, like 
John Wood style. So it's always good to have a bit of Beretta. And of course, with many weapons, you can't shoot much. Well... So after this is done, 
What the hell?
Pain has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Bravura from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravura to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now,
I'll kill you, you lousy freaking... Cognitti ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shakedown time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Oh my. Oh. Pausing the timer. So we're now going into the Ragnarok nightclub with 17, uh, about 17 minutes and a half. 17 minutes. 17 and a half minutes on the floor. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son, just like Jack Lupino. Seller. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about.
The book had never been a bestseller. and the occult had been piled. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost, old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis, books with pentagrams on their covers all dealing with the occult and the infernal, lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. The table.
So that's what we're doing this for tonight. I will see you guys on the next one where hopefully we're hoping to try to die Jack Lapino. Till then, have a good night.